Okay, today I want to show you about some of the new shape features in the updated version of Keynote for Mac. So I have a blank slide here, and I'm going to go ahead and add a couple shapes. doesn't matter which shapes you add. I'm going to add a star, make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. And I'm going to add a circle and make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. All right, and I'm going to overlap them a little bit. Let's say kind of like that. All right, I'm going to select them and just move them down to the middle of the screen. Now, just to make this really clear, what I want to do is change the color of the circle, and you'll see why in a moment. So now I have a simple circle and a star on my slide, two different colors. And uh, one of the neat new things in Keynote uh, is the ability to unite or subtract or basically allow two shapes to affect a final shape that you can create. Let me show you what I mean. First thing, I can select these two. Now, traditionally in Keynote, what you would do if you want to keep them together is you go to Arrange and you would group them, and they become one shape or one object that can then become edited. The only thing is they're going to keep their individual characteristics. For example, my circle is still red and my star is still blue. Now we have a new feature, I'm just going to ungroup them there, we have a new feature here in the new version of Keynote that lets you take both, and I'm going to go to Format, Shapes and Lines, Unite Shapes. And so what that does is it actually takes these two distinct shapes and makes them into one, filling them with the same characteristics. So it kind of creates some funky, totally new shape that you can then play with. It's a nice little feature. I'm going to undo that. And let's look at else, what else we could do. Format, Shapes and Lines. Now I can intersect the shapes. Let's see what that does. So what that did was that took the, the part that the two shapes overlapped each other. And it turned that into a brand new shape. So again, you can get all sorts of interesting shapes that you wouldn't have been able to get before. Undo. And let's see what else we have. Okay, now I'm going to try subtracting the shapes. And what that gives me is it takes the, the shape that was in the back and it subtracts the part of the front shape that was covering it. So again, you can get some kind of neat um, results here. Interesting shape star. Okay, and then the final thing we can do is exclude the shapes. And this is probably the coolest one, which actually keeps both shapes, puts them together, but it subtracts the part that overlaps and makes it transparent, makes it clear. And so again, you can get some really, really neat features or, or effects with this by playing with it. And of course, had I done the same thing, uh, some of these same things, but put the star in the front, then I'll get some very different results. If I go back and let's try the intersect again. Well, now it's the shape that was in the back, the circle, being cut apart by the shape that was in the front, which was the star. Uh, it's a fun little trick to play with. You can make some really, really cool effects with it. And again, this is only found in the newest update to Keynote for Mac. Thanks.